of this debate. I've been studying all about the British and the American Revolution. And I've been studying all about the rebel colonists. I want to wish you good luck. And I want you to win, but I'm going against you. And I really want to win this land poetry debate. Same. I want you to win, but I want me to win. Do we really have to go against each other? Don't be stupid. I've been to way too many slam poetry debates surrounded by weird hippies trying to find themselves just so I could learn my weird, overdramatic, cryptic poetry. You aren't quitting now. Okay, sorry, one second. Just got a text. It was from Alyssa. She wants me to hang out with her tonight. What should I say? No way. Tell her you're busy. You spend way too much time with her. We never get to hang out anymore. Okay. Wait, shouldn't I get a say in this? You're being a bit selfish. Daria, I'm the one who introduced you guys, and you think I'm being selfish? Now I see why you're arguing for the British. What? Never mind. I'll see you at the competition. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> The British. No escape from the everlasting weight. The debt from the battles, the hostile strifes of the French and the Indians. French and Indians. So where? Where do they turn and search for help? Help in this dark abyss they find themselves abandoned in. To none other than those beings who settled, who colonized, who danced freely upon the New World. Colonists, colonists, dancing, free. Ah yes, the colonists, everything taken taken from them, the British being undeniably selfish. Selfish, self, taxes, taxes marking their tea, their paper, marking their sugar, deep, unremovable taxes, forever, intolerable, intolerable. They rebelled, attacked, inflicted pain, wounds, and dread upon the innocent British. Innocent, like a baby child, holy infant, so tender and mild. How unfair it is that the colonists, that the British are the ones who gave the colonists this opportunity, just so they may exploit it and scornfully ignore the British. The radical colonists casted away the Brits' tea, tea away into the cold, apathetic, unforgiving depths. The depths that are the Boston Harbor, the depths. That was merely the colonists breaking free, breaking free that is, from the restraining cuffs of the British. They have been oppressed, sadness, hurting. They should be free to go where they please, with whomever they wish, to flutter and fly, flutter like a butterfly. They attacked, they assailed, brought their mighty rain down upon the soldiers, the soldiers that defended themselves, what Paul Revere called the Boston Massacre. Shame, everlasting shame on the colonies, shame. The colonists were... Due to an unbreaking tie, we'll go into a final tiebreaker round after a short intermission. I totally saw you glaring at me when you said the colonists were ignoring the British. It's not my fault you think you're being ignored. And it wasn't the colonists' fault that the British decided to be big giant jerk faces and cause the Boston Massacre. I saw you glare at me too, and it was the colonists who threw rocks and ice at the British soldiers in the first place. They also put the totally cheap move attacking on Christmas in the Battle of Trenton. Now that you bring up the Battle of Trenton, it was totally awesome, with George Washington leading his troops across the Delaware River and all the aliens that helped him. Daria! First of all, there were no aliens. Second of all, George Washington was a huge loser. Then how'd he win the war, huh? He was totally awful, except for the fact that he just happened to win at the very last battle at Yorktown. He sucked at everything else. George Washington is overrated to this day. Your face is overrated to this day. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. And I've heard you say a lot of things. You're so annoying. You're the annoying one who started this whole argument. I'm not talking. You're ever looking at your dumb face ever again. <sighs> uh, Daria? What do you want? Your mom is driving me home after this, and I really don't want to sit in the back of your car without talking to you. It'll be really uncomfortable. Well, you have a point. I take back what I said before. I guess I have been hanging out with Alyssa a lot more than you lately. I'm sorry. That was really cheesy, but I'm sorry too. Okay, cause remember how we only signed up for this because whoever quit first has to give five dollars to the other person? Anyways, I totally accept your apology. We cool now? Yeah, totally cool. Cooler than Britney Spears? Nobody likes Britney Spears anymore, Daria. But yeah, we're cool. Okay, good. Cause our break is gonna end any second now. And I really don't wanna finish this debate. 
How about, I get, how about we go up the back entrance and I'll get my mom to drive us to the pizza place and then we can hang out at my house. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm so glad we worked this out. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave?